beautiful and amazing crafters welcome to another video of crafting with Shanita in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make an animated intro video right in Canva so for today's tutorial I'm going to size my template at 1920 by 1080 pixels I do have Canva Pro, but Canva Free offers amazing elements that you can do this project as well if you have the free version. So for this first template, I'm going to choose a background of my liking. And as you can see, there's so many backgrounds that you can choose from. And I'm going to go ahead and paste my logo right on top of the background. I'm going to look for an animated subscribe button and place that right underneath my logo, just like that. I wanted to add some arrows as well, so I found these animated arrows and added them to my design. I'm going to group all the elements together and I'm going to choose the drift to make this a fully animated template. Now the second template I'm going to show you, I'm going to use a gradient effect. So first I'm going to choose a background. I like this color here. And then I'm going to uh, search for animated gradient. I'm going to bring down that transparency to about 50%. And then add my local right in the center and just size it accordingly. Now with the same design, I'm going to go ahead and change it up just a little bit. I'm going to reduce my local size and I'm going to look for an animated subscribe button here. And I like this scroll look. And just added that right on top of that animated gradient. So now, let me show you how you could add your social media handles. So I've created a blank page for this. And I'm going to choose some social media handles that Canva has available. So I chose a TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm just going to align this to the left so they're nice and even. And then I found this little banner and changed the color and added my social media handle for each platform. So now that it's finished and I like the way it looks or you know you could add your channel name, I'm going to save this as a PNG with a transparent background and I'll show you why a little later in the tutorial. Want to make your own like share template? You could do that as well as in Canva. So I started with another blank template and I'm looking for an animated like and share button. And 
and I'm going to create a design that I like using these elements. Now, if you don't see an animated like or share button that you like, you can just find a graphic and then we're going to animate it at the end anyway. So. So now that I like this final look, I'm going to group all these elements and I'm going to add an animation to that. And I choose Techphonic for the animation. Now I'm going to select, on this page I'm going to select the timing to 3 seconds and I'm going to add that timing to all of the templates that I made and I'm going to save this as an mp4 and bring it into my video software so you can see how it looks. Now before I show you the temp template bundle that I made I just want to show you why I saved the socials with a transparent background. Now you can save that PNG and bring it into your video software and you can place that onto the specific scene that you want to add your social media. Now with the template bundle that I created, I'm able to just scale it down to each individual template so that way I, have, I don't have to save several templates. I have it all on one and I can just choose which one I want to pick. I can even make it a little local if I wanted to make a local onto into the video as well. And if you don't like that little background, you could actually Go back to your template, save it as a PNG with a transparent background like I did for the social media handles. And then you could also have logos that you could add in to your video software like I did here. And I really enjoy having this feature through Canva. So I'm able to bring up little pop-ups and things of that nature to add into my video. Because I know a lot of times when you have a video software, you gotta pay a little extra for those features, but you can make them right in Canva. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any dis um, comments, please leave them in the section below. Well, I will see you on the next video of Crafting with Shanita. Happy crafting!